So, just another quick video uh, that I've called uh, making your gear look a little more discreet. Because uh, the idea here is that uh, tomorrow night I'm uh, I'm gonna DJ a wedding. But it's not just any wedding, it's my baby brother's wedding. So I'm also gonna be a guest. So of course I'm gonna DJ aggressively at night at the dance floor. But during dinner time, I'm expected to play some music. And of course I'm just gonna use Automix for that. And uh, then of course whenever there's uh, there's a speech or there's a toast. I need to turn down the music or turn it off. But I'm probably going to be 10 or 12 meters away from the gear, uh, seated at one of the tables because I'm also a guest, right? So for that, I need a remote. So I could use the uh, the virtual DJ remote. That is actually an, an, a phone app. But I'm, I'm planning to use this thing down here. The old Orbit uh, from Numark, which is a, a, a wireless remote control. So uh, that basically means that if I start Automix at one point here, up here, I can control it down here, so I can pause the track, play it again, and I can also turn the deck uh, up and down in volume, so that's probably a nice way of doing it, right? So like that. So that all works great, right out of the box. That, those are probably the only two things that I need to be able to do. But this thing lights up like a Christmas tree. So I don't really feel comfortable having that next to me at the table because it'll gonna, it's just going to be weird, right? With all the nice little white uh, white cloth and all that kind of stuff that's at a wedding. So I thought, can I make this a little bit more discreet? So I really just meet, remapped all the coloring of it. So what I've done is I've gone into, uh, into settings, into mapping here. And then instead of picking the... Uh, factory default I've created a new one that's called Orbit Discrete. So the difference here is really that I've removed all the LEDs here except for this one and this one I've remapped to be uh, just dark green when play and dark red when uh, when paused right and then it's just gonna be uh, black or Turned off whenever there's no track loaded, if that happens, like on the other deck. So if I select that one instead, and I probably just have to restart Virtual DJ to make it stick. And I start Automix again. Now my controller looks like this. Dark green for playing. Dark red for post, and of course, the blue color in the middle for the deck volume still works. And I can still see that I'm on K2, which means I'm, I'm controlling the, uh, the, the left deck um, volume using this thing. And I'm on the first page, so that's the uh, control functions. So uh, there's, of course, also effects and sample and all this kind of stuff. So I've basically just made this really discreet. So that's my that's my idea for tomorrow. So that I don't have a controller at the table that's lighting up like a Christmas tree. <laughs>